Greetings everyone, in this video I want to talk about love, the emotion, and how it affects your energy levels. Greetings, this infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. All right, love. Love can feel, can feel very tangible as if it is a thing of itself. Love is very much, well, there's a lot about love. I'm going to share part of what the love is. All emotions, all emotions, whether it's hate, rage, or love is an emotion and intense emotions, intense emotions are fed by your synergy cell, by your synergy cell. Not just your daily supply, but your synergy cell. Now, when you are in love, in love, what is love? What's love got to do with it? And then there is this song. I, I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. You can love something or someone, a pet, an animal, a person, you can love, you can love them without love being returned. You see, love is an emotion that you have within yourself, that you, you, you create within yourself. You create it. Nothing outside of you creates it within you. You are reacting, you are stirring something within you. Your emotions are your own. Nothing or no one outside of you can create them in your illusion, although you think that they can. You can love something or someone who does not return love to you or do anything for you. It's a, I'm going to say, it can even be a figment of your imagination. You can envision a person and think of them in a way that isn't them, and you fall in love with your creation. You fall in love with your creation. Now, there are chemicals that are released in love, okay? When you are deeply, madly in love, there are chemicals that are released. That process is synergy cell energies that are being drained. There is a price to pay for that euphoric in love feeling. There are source players who love to be in love and they will switch partners and relationships because they enjoy that high, that new relationship high, that in love aphrodisiac feeling that they just become addicted to and have to experience more of. Why do you love someone? Actually, all relationships, all relationships are transactions. There is always something that both parties are getting out of that relationship or they would not be in the relationship together. When a relationship stops meeting 
needs or is beneficial for one or the other person, they will disintegrate and dissolve and go away. They will also disintegrate and dissolve if one person decides to remain on a lower frequency level and makes choices, whether they're scripted choices or not scripted, whether they've unlocked their script and now they're free to make choices. It will affect relationships. Is love a tangible thing? Well, love is energy. Love is energy. This is why occasionally, if you have two people who are strongly, I'll say, attracted, attracted, they call it like magnetic energy, or it's something, people try to think of that as love at first sight. Well, that's not really what it is, but it's an energy, all right? And in that case, that's an energy drain. That's an energy drain. But you can, when you are feeling love, all right, you get a, uh, you get a sphere of energy that surrounds you and bumps out and goes out. And sometimes you can sense that now this is just with intentional energy from the palm of your hands. If you, if you have someone standing on this side of the room and someone standing on the other side of the room, you can touch them energetically through your intent to send energy. And that person will feel the energy. I mean, if you and another source player wanted to try this, you could one could stand on one side of the room and the other one could stand on the other side of the room with an intent put your energy out in front of you and walk across the room and see how far your energy, because both of you will feel it. It'll be like bumping into each other. It'll be bumping into each other. You will sense the energies. Now, that's a neat game, but it's also an energy. It costs energy. Once you find out about it, I don't suggest that you keep trying to do it. Can you sit down in a, anywhere in a same room with someone or not even sitting down? Can you stand in a room and gaze at someone with your intent and have them turn around and look at you? Notice you? Absolutely. That is you pushing energy towards that person's game piece or towards that avatar or character in your illusion game. These are all things, and it is through your intent, okay? It is your intent to love. It is your intent to love. The reason your intent is to love is because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. Loving something or someone makes you feel good. Good about yourself, good about life in general. Because you have attached onto something, someone else. All right? You're not alone. You really aren't alone. You're really still alone, but you have the sensation you are feeding another part of your experience. Now, should you be nice to people? Absolutely. Can you still love people? Absolutely. But once you realize what love is, what's love got to do with it? Love is a higher frequency, but it's not the highest frequency. Neutrality is. When you realize that the positives and the negatives the emotional spectrum have positives and negatives and we become emotion addicts, emotion addicts. Much better to have a higher frequency emotion than it is to have a low frequency emotion. 
and it benefits you, but you have to realize that you're still, you know, it's a choice. It's a choice. Yes, you can still love people. Yes, you can still love animals. You can do all of these things, but you need to be aware. You need to be aware of your choices and how much and how deeply you love someone or something determines how much you're losing from your synergy cell, how much you're paying for that experience. Now, when someone you love or you perceive or you want to love does not receive your love and affection, they don't want to have anything to do with you, some of you that doesn't matter. They don't understand you, right? You're sure that they want to love you the way you love them. But that's their choice. You see, that's their experience. They don't want to invest. They don't want to invest. You see, because love is an investment of your synergy cell. Love is an investment of your synergy cell. And most source players don't even realize that. Even though the matrix has been telling you it's an illusion and that it is, you are creating it within yourself. So you can love something without that person loving you back. When someone leaves you, whether it's because they are moving on, the relationship no longer fits them, and you have been hurt or been betrayed, all right? These are emotions that you are creating within yourself. You have created those betrayal emotions instead of looking at it as, well, they chose a different path and they moved on in their life and now, okay, I need to make some choices for myself now. And in the case of someone you love has died, has died. They have been removed from your script. They have been removed from your life. They haven't just of their own accord left. They have been removed permanently from you. And you experience grief and you feel the absence or that love, you love that, that child or that spouse or that parent so much and it's a very tangible, it feels very tangible love. That is because you have invested so much, so, so much into that person, that individual, that they have become your life. It's as if you can't live your life without that person. And that, at that point, really has nothing to do with them, but everything to do with you and your emotions and how you are draining your synergy cell. Now, immense, extreme love comes from your synergy cell. It is a feeling that you experience, and it draws right from your synergy cell. Grief is also a strong emotion, and it comes from your synergy cell. You have to realize that it is nothing outside of you creating these things within you. It is you, within yourself. You are creating these responses, these, these emotions within yourself. And you can get a grip on yourself. Yes, you can. You can get a grip on yourself when you recognize that you are the one that are, is creating these emotions within yourself. Now, sometimes they're beneficial and sometimes they are very detrimental. Now, yes, if you have something and you are fighting it, I mean, and you're grieving, well, there is a grieving process, but the grieving process shouldn't be long. It should be dealt with and move on along with life. You have to move on. You can't stay in that state. A lot of people do stay in that state and they waste the rest of their life. 
But that's their choice. It's their choice. Love is powerful and can be energy raising, frequency raising. But it removes energy from your synergy cell. Now, the kind of love will determine how much it's going to cost you. Now, obsessive love is not high frequency. Obsessive love is not high frequency. As you are becoming overly obsessed and attached and you are giving your energy and yourself away to that obsession. Now, obsession is another thing and that can equally drain your synergy cell, becoming overly obsessed with something or someone. So love is an emotion that you control within you. It is not a result of anything outside of you. You can love someone or something and that energy not be returned to you. You are losing the energy. They're not feeling, feeling the same thing for you. And in those cases, you need to recognize it and stop that turmoil within yourself. They're all choices. They're all choices. There's so much more to this. There's so much more to the love aspect of this game. You need to have a strong source self connection and ask your source self these things. Ask for the knowing, access to the knowing, to tap into the knowing of how, how those emotions work within you, how they work for you and how they work against you. Now, if you find the information that I share in these videos beneficial to you, then it benefits you to say thank you via gift via PayPal. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.